Greetings and salutations from yours truly, your lady of the realm, Emily O'Malley, lady of the realm. And I want to start off with something. Feminism. Why do we have this? I know part of it is for women's rights. It's good. It's not bad to have or have being have anything to do with it. Okay. But as of late of what I've been hearing and knowing of when it comes to feminism is that it's become a very toxic movement. It has become one of those movements that thinks it's looking out for other people and their well being when in reality they're just pushing their own agenda. I mean, an example would be Anita Sarkeesian. Uh, thousands of feminists on this channel, and just in daily life. I mean, heck, today's show is promoting that everyone become a feminist. I mean, when I was growing up, I remember feminism not being taken seriously. Maybe not you know, big, you know, like, oh my god, oh my goodness, that girl's wearing a short skirt. So? Oh, she's showing her midriff. And Nina, Nina Funicello didn't do that. Yeah, but it's the 1990s. Biatch. We can do that. Which, I think is fair. Oh, and then I think worst of all, <laughs> Is I've seen videos here on YouTube about people talking about how feminists actually pick on them. Pick on them. By telling them to wear pants. It, it's like, I, I understand that wearing a dress still allows you to be feminine, but in a tasteful way. But at the same time, not all of us want to wear a skirt and a dress or a dress. It's not because we're heathens. It's not that we're whores. I mean, the only people I think should be wearing pants are the people who are trying to pass off skinny jeans as a form of clothing. Those are the only people that I think have absolutely no reason to be wearing jeans or pants for that matter. We want to wear those tight jeans that I believe in Crybaby. They dictated and called, uh. I'm trying to think. Wasn't it his dress to make his pants? Yeah, I can believe that. I mean, I'm showing the whole world a camera toe, and I hate to break it to me, but, uh. The only time we're going to see your puppy. Is if we're in bed. That's it. No one needs to see it. No one needs to know it's there. Outside of the bedroom. No offense. And also, I hate to break it to you. Doesn't anyone find those things just freaking uncomfortable? But still. Huh? Yeah, I got a little my Cyrus on you there, didn't I? Oh, and that too. I'm not against. You know, I always hear about horror or slut shaming and stuff like that. And you know something? Who cares anymore? I mean, seriously, is it really that important for our society to have to all be virgins when virtually, technically, when guys and girls wear condoms now? I mean, the only reason why that makes sense is, uh, penis into vagina. But for some reason, you're still a virgin if you're a lesbian. I watch this on Girl Code, you can take it up with them. God, that show is terrible. But, that's for another day. <laughs> but at the same time, it's your body, it's your right to do what you want with it, 
but at the same time, I also hear arguments for things such as, well, not lesbianism, but for being pro-choice, I mean, being pro-life. Thanks. And to me, here's how I look at abortion. I usually don't share my opinion because, you know, being a Christian, that's going to get me a lot of flack. But, I'm pro-life as well as pro-choice. And part of the reason why I'm both is because, yeah, I do think it's a woman's right to decide on her own body, okay? She, or he, considering we've had a man that actually got pregnant once, since I believe he was Japanese, <laughs> you know, when you think about it, um, no offense to the Japanese or Asians or anything, but aren't you guys also about keeping the women back, foot, and pregnant? But still, no offense to the Asian men or Asian women or anything dealing with that. I don't think you're all about that. It's just say, apparently there's something about that. And but anyways, I'm for condoms. I am for Pro I, I am for abortion. I don't think it should be outlawed just because some biblical text says it's wrong because you're killing a life. Because if that's the case, then those people need to get off everyone else's his, else's back when it comes to I believe wasn't it um I think it's a uh, corporal punishment, meaning in this case, and that oh, the death sentence. I'm sorry, death sentence. No one should say anything about the death sentence unless you're going to be pro-life as well as anti-death sentence, okay? Or killing anything. No offense to those people. I understand the differences. Oh, but this is innocent life. But this is not. Which, in the same way, if we're all God's children, and he loves us, why would he eradicate the bad people? I mean, unless this is a demon from hell, and there is nothing you can do but exterminate the people who are a part of that issue. Why kill them? Why? Why? I'm sorry, but think about it, folks. Why? However, I don't know how this went from feminism to abortion. But yes, uh... Next thing I have against feminism, personally, is so many women think that... And not all women, mind you. There are a lot of women think we need to have a female version of everything. And don't get me wrong, I believe that there can be a female version of anything, and it's really cool that we want to have women use their imagination and put forth or to something and create characters that are female, but awesome. I mean, Katniss Everdeen is a good example. But at the same time, she's not promoting agenda. She's not saying women are, you know, have always been oppressed. No. It's because the character in the story in itself is not a feminist. She's not about an agenda. She's just a girl of a young, impressionable age being thrown into a dangerous, pers a dangerous position. Oh, another being movies like Bride Bridesmaids. I haven't seen that film, but I haven't heard of any positive things about it being making everything equal. I'll have to watch it and find out, but I heard of that one. It's a comedy with Tina Fey, which I know there's thousands of the people who love Tina Fey. I do not like Tina Fey. I don't know what it is, but I don't think we needed 
female Jim Carrey or, you know, we don't need to know what that girl off of all that that used to do the voice did the amazing impression of, well, okay, here's what he would use to say. Hee <laughs> hee! I have four million dollars! Okay, and stuff like that. I believe anime X did a no one was a pink, it was probably pink in the brain did a parody of that, but that's besides the point. Anyways, still don't like Hank, Hanker, because after a while I got kind of tired of hearing that I can hear, I can see Russia from my house. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure Russia's very happy about that. Mm-hmm, yeah, and by the way, send love from Russia. For me. Okay, Tina. Okay, Sarah. All that too. Why is it? And everyone has a bit different opinion. This is another thing I don't like about feminism either is that we have so many different role models, so many different kinds of women. It would be nice if we could all just gather together and pick one. Now, it's one thing when a certain feminist, you can relate to a certain kind of woman who's promoting a certain kind of feminism. Like, for me, I'm probably more leaning towards either radical or liberal feminism. I like cultural because at least it's going forth and doing something. But liberal and Radical at least have to work together, okay? Radical feminism to me is at least just saying, you know what? We've done all we can. We use words. We use civil disobedience. This is it, okay? It's done. Protest. Liberal feminism just sticks within the laws. Basically, now, there are a few laws I don't agree with, like the, I don't know about the Violence Against Women Act is, I understand that it exists, and that it's kind of a messy law, too, like, it just means, not only can your spouse not hit you, which is great, but why would your spouse, why would, why would your spouse want to hit you? There you go. Also, um, it also mentions not talking or using any disparaging words against your wife. And you know what I don't like about it most of the time about this law? Is, is treating women like children. It's basically, it's basically saying, that you, as a woman, are too weak to handle bad words. Or having your husband or spouse say, Honey, I'm sorry to tell you this, but that dress is ugly. Okay? I would rather my husband be positive, be honest with me, than hiding everything from me like a little baby. Okay? I'm sorry, but that's just my personal stance as a woman, and this is not about feminism. This is just about what's fair and what isn't, and I feel like if you are a feminism and you're fighting for gender equality, then you shouldn't care about just films where women are mistreated, which I don't like. I don't like what it represents. But at the same time, I go, well, it's just a TV show, it's just a film. Yeah, I don't like how they treat men or women in the show, but I do keep in mind that not all men are like some of the guys you see on television. Not all women are like this. Not all people in general are like this. <sighs> or think this way. But, unfortunately, we have mass amounts of feminists out there 
who don't care about men's rights and just want to blow them off, and that too. I don't like any women who spit upon men's rights either. Anyways, um, that rant went on just a little longer than I expected. Anyways, thanks for listening, and uh, this is Evie saying, please follow me on my Tumblr, Twitter, and as you know, uh, as you know, I have the flu. <laughs> Not. But anyways, Evie. Okay.